Hello. <laughs> I'm going to mute everybody since we are um, getting ready to start. So you can type your Shabbat Shalom's in the chat. <laughs> I don't know why it's not going to Facebook. You can type your Shabbat mm. Shalom's. Wait. Um, wait, let me unmute you. I know, one sec. I can do it. Okay. Uh, I'm recording it because I couldn't get the Facebook Live to go. It says it's still preparing and nothing is happening. That's frustrating don't know what to do unless did josh come back on i don't see him well it's not quite time yet Do we give it a manner or do we do it without the Facebook Live? Um, yeah, it's only Josh who can do it. I realize because it has to do with the um, uh, it has to do the um, with managing the Facebook page. Oh well. We should start. Oh, wait. I have to share my screen. Um, one moment, please. Okay. cut off the very bottom. Oh, no, maybe it didn't. We will come back to this and you'll be able to look at it again in a moment. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Sing unto God all the earth a new song. I 
will sing unto God a new song. Sing unto God and we'll all sing along. All the earth a new song unto Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Oh, that went the wrong way, but it'll actually work just as well. Well, let's see. So you, you know that um, I like to put in some imagery with um, the service and especially in the opening panel. And uh, this is a very timely piece, a new piece by a friend of ours. Those who were with us at our last um, Shabbaton would perhaps remember um, Rabbi Shana and Isaac Bringegard Bialik. Um, and uh, with everything going on in the world, I, this, this piece has really been crying out to me. And so I asked for permission um, from Isaac to um, use it. And then I realized, you know, I would love to explain it, but better than me explaining it would be Isaac explaining it, who is joining us from Southern California. And, and, and have the fires calmed down around your neighborhood? Yeah, the, the last fire was yesterday. It was like three blocks from here, um, but it was a small one. We'd had a slightly larger one earlier in the week, but you know, when the year started off, we actually had our, our local high school where our youngest kid is going closed twice in a month for fires. Um, this was before the shooting in the district. This was before uh, the lockdown and the protests and the murder hornets, right? There's, there are all these, these things that uh, we have been experiencing um, in, our, you know, in our world, in our country, in our local community. Um, and it has been a blessing for me and my family to be able to pray with you. We popped into a couple of your services, Rick. Um, me, my wife, our three kids who are all trapped here. Um, it's really been lovely to pray and sing with uh, both rabbis in your household and your kids and the occasional, um, you know, guest clergy like Dan Nichols. It's really been lovely. Um, so yeah, I was going to be here anyway, and I'm glad to talk about this. Um, art, art is my way of dealing with all that we go through. Uh, it always has been. For those of you who know my work, I cut up comic books and piece them back together into things. And I focus on telling stories. Usually they're stories uh, that are very Jewish uh, in context of our Tanakh uh, or you know, old stories or jokes. Uh, this goes a little more broad than that. It's inspired by uh, the death of George Floyd at the hands of police. It's inspired by uh, all of the deaths of black people at the hands of those who kill for no reason other than hatred, baseless hatred. Um, it is inspired by all of the pain uh, and loss that we've been feeling. Um, and it's made with superheroes who, though we think of as heroic, also find themselves in rough times. This in fact is made with three black superheroes, Black Panther, Cloak, and uh, Luke Cage, Power Man, um, all sort of cut up and then re-pieced back into this figure who is you know, crying out. Um, inspired by words from our texts, the Book of Lamentations, Echa, which we usually read around Tisha B'Av, um, from liturgy that talks about the martyrology of our people. We talk about loss all the time because for us it's a story of here's where we were and here's how we get to the next place. Um, and I'd like to imagine that uh, we're seeing the same thing for African Americans and for America in general right now, that we may be down, we may be on the ground, we are experiencing loss, we are grieving people who we have lost to all sorts of uh, injustice and racism, um, but we, we will find ourselves at the other end of it, I, I hope. Uh, I don't know how, and sometimes it's all we can do is just uh, to carry on or to cry or to laugh or to come together and sing and pray as a community. Um, this is, you know, just my one voice, and I hope that you have the opportunity to seek out other voices uh, that, that talk about what's going on right now, other voices closer to tragedy than mine, 
uh, other art, other music. Um, there's so much out there that we can learn from uh, that can help us to address and fix the injustice that we see um, and to come out the other side stronger. Um, I, I would hope that we can do that and that I can join you in person again one day. Thank you, thank you. Because, you know, this is the time where Rabbi Laura and I would usually be heading up to camp where we would be meeting with Rabbi Shauna and Isaac and their whole family. And so um, it, it's nice at least that we can gather um, electronically as many of us have been doing and, and we've been doing throughout. Uh, so I, I have several other of Isaac's pieces um, uh, in the, in the um, service tonight, um, and, but um, go check them out on, and he didn't ask me for a plug, <laughs> go check out nicejewishartist.com where you can see, look, I love paper cut. The, it's a very traditional Jewish art form, but um, Isaac's take on it is um, new and refreshing and, and powerful. And, and so nicejewishartist.com. Um, I think it, you can actually go there during Sh Shabbos. It's not one of those um, Jewish sites that you can't enter <laughs> during Shabbat. Um, there are some of those. Yeah. So, let's sing Shabbat some Shalom. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> And this, this, you know, this one becomes an aspiration, how good it could be for brothers and sisters to dwell together. For those who have Shabbat candles nearby or someone nearby to light Shabbat candles for you as Rabbi Laura makes her way over here through all the lights and stuff and without tripping, please. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Asher kidshanu b'mitzvotav V'tzivanu Lehad liknev Lehad liknev Shel Shabbat I particularly like this goblet, um, but it, I purposefully for tonight because um, we bought it at the Awani and uh, Yosemite has reopened um, this week. Get your reservations well in advance, all that kind of thing. It's they're limiting how many people can come in, but um, perhaps that's a good place to go um, commune with nature. Let's join in Kiddush. Baruch HaTadonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Bore poriha gahafen, Baruch atarunai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kitshan be mitzvot haver atzavahanu, Vishabat kodsho beahava uvratzon hinchilanu, Zika lom le maase vareshit, Ki hu yom techila le mikra e kodesh, Zechelatziat mi hitzraim, Kivanu vacharta, 
ואותנו קידשת מכה עמים ושבת קודשך באהבה וברצון הנחלתנו ברוך אתה אדוני מקדש השבת לחיים Am I missing the fun in the chat again? This has created fun. Good stuff. <laughs> <sighs> Onward. Yitkada ve yitkada shimei raba Be'alma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute Be'cha yechon uv'yom echon Uv'chaye dechol beit Yisrael Bagala, Bagala, Uvis Mahankari, Vemeru, Amen. Yehesh me Rabba Mivora, Leola Mula me Hamaya, Yit Barach, Yit Barach, Vishtaba, Vipar Vitromam Vietnase, Vietadar, Vietale, Vietala, Shame de Kudesha, Brihu. לאל אמין כל ברכתה ושירתה, תושבחתה ונחמתה דמירן בעמה, ואמרו אמן. Join in Ve'ahavta. Ve'ahavta e'ed Adonai Elohecha V'chol levavcha u'v'chol nafshecha u'v'chol me'odecha V'hayu ha'dvarim ha'ele Asher anochi mitzavecha Ayom alivavecha V'shinantam levanecha Vidibarta baham, Beshiv techa, a beve techa, Uvlech techa, va derech, Uv shoch becha, uv kumecha, Ukshar tam le od, aya decha, Vehayule tota fod, bene necha, Uv tav tam, amazuzot be techa, uvisha recha, 
למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותיי והייתם קדושים לאלוהיכם אני אדוני אלוהיכם אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים אני אדוני אלוהיכם This piece was called uh, Micha Mocha, so it seemed like it should go here. out those harmonies. It just occurred to me, you know, where the last one is, is fantastic for singing harmony, which you can do without any hesitation in your own home. This one's actually great for um, instrumental. So um, I, th I think the Price family is there. You know, Leo, get out your, your violin. Play along. We're in B, uh, no, I'm sorry, we're in C minor. Um, for anyone who wants to play along, just keep it muted, please. But by the time we are out of this, this whole pandemic thing, you can have this one down so well that, <laughs> there we go. Um, do you need, a, you need a note to tune to, David? Um, uh, we'll have it so well down 
that we'll have an orchestra ready to go as soon as we can be in person. It's C minor and G7. Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, El Hagato, Hagibor Vahanora, El El Yon, Gomel Hasadim Tovim, Vekone Hako, Vizoher Haste Avot Vimahot. Ume vigula liv nev nehem, Lemaan shemo be ahava, Melachoser moshia umagen, Barucha ta adonai, Magen Avraham ve ezrat sara, Atagi borle lamaronai, Mechaye ha kolata rav lehoshia, Morid ha ta. Mechakel Chaim Bechesed, Mechaye Hako Berachamim Rabim, So Mech Noflim Verofe Hoholim, Umati Rasurim, Umekaye Memunato Lishene Afar, Micha Mocha Baagevurot, Umido Melach. Melech me mi tu mechaye u mat mi ach yeshua vene mana ta lahachayot hako baruch ata adonai mechaye hako ata kadosh v'shim chakadosh v'kadoshim b'chol yom yhalu chasela baruch ata adonai ha'el hakadosh.
people are having trouble hearing? It's really loud in my ears. It's probably louder now. Is it louder now? Okay. I turned it up. Let's join together in Misha Barak, and as always, um, if you have na names that you would like to add into um, uh, the chat box, please, please do so. I know there are people in our community, people in our extended community, of course, people all throughout um, the country who could use good prayers of strength and healing right now. a challenge to get this off with oh, I knew I was gonna do that I'm tangled <laughs> help um okay one moment please I know I'm sorry okay I'm not back. I'm working on it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to unshare for the moment, I think. Yes? Um, oh, wow. I can see a lot more people when I do that. The revelation that I had regarding one of the details of this week's Torah reading is not new. I don't remember how long ago it occurred to me, but it's, it's been years. We read these words year after year, and new revelations, new understandings appear every year, which is why Rabbi Ben Bagbag in the Mishnah, um, I think, God, I'm like dad humor, he, I guess, did double bagging. 
Um, in Pirkei Avot, that book that we give to our students, Rabbi Ben Bagbag told us, turn it over and over again, for all is therein, and look into it and become gray and old therein, and do not move away from it, for you have no better portion than it. There is a lot going on in the verses for this week. I did as I always do. I turn the pages and uh, see what jumps up and says, hey, pay attention to me, hineni. Hang out here. Stay with these verses. And I did. I kept turning the pages over and over with several different subjects vying for attention. And then the final verses of the portion said, yeah, we were waiting patiently because we, you, we knew you would not have a choice. This year, you have to spend time with us. In these verses at the end of this week's Torah reading, which is called Beha'alot Cha, out of the book of Numbers, Miriam and Aaron, Moses' siblings, complained about Moses' Cushite wife, in-law issues. It seems these in-law issues are ancient, but there's something else going on here. Torah is sparing in detail, so when we get one, we need to pay attention. And why did Torah think it was important to point out that Moses' wife was from the land of Cush? a Cushite. The Cushites were known for very dark skin. Wait, seriously? Miriam and Aaron were being racist? In Torah? Racism in the Torah? It doesn't say that. It doesn't spell it out. All it says is that they don't like Moses' Cushite wife. Okay, tangent number one. Moses' wife is not named. Leaving a woman nameless in Torah was not unusual in the biblical uh, period, but it has become quite uncomfortable and inappropriate to many of us today. Her name is Tsipora, and we know this from other sources, um, so I'm going to give her back her name. Now, tangent number two, I, I will get back to the portion, but, and this is on the portion, but tangent number two, the art scroll commentary, which some of us use on Saturday mornings, and this is exactly why I caution the use of it. In the art scroll commentary, it gives a fascinating explanation of this episode that apparently comes from the medieval biblical commentator Rashi. He says, the Cushite, literally Ethiopian woman, because they equate um, the land of Cush with Ethiopia, um, the Cushite woman, Sipora, was from Midian, not Ethiopia, says Rashi. The description of her as a Cushite, he says, was a euphemistic reference to her great beauty. It is common in scripture and in Talmudic literature to attach a derogatory epithet to a loved one in order to prevent Ayin hara, the evil eye, envy. And he, he knows this because, according to Rashi, the numerical value of Kushite in Hebrew is equal to that of Yifat Mar'eh, which means beautiful in appearance. The term is repeated later in the verse to suggest that her physical beauty was matched by her character. Yeah, no, I don't buy it. I like Rashi, but he is just wrong here. Aaron and Miriam were also upset that they could not speak directly with God like Moses, but the punishment we'll see in a moment is enlightening. It's going to give us some clues. So chapter 12, verse 9, the wrath of God flared up against them, and God left. The cloud had departed from atop the tent, and behold, Miriam was afflicted with tsara'at, like snow. The skin de the disease of tsara'at, was wrongly translated for generations as leprosy. Biblical scholars all seem to be in agreement that it's not leprosy. They don't really know what it is, but we can see clearly from this passage that it turned Miriam's skin snow white. Our Torah text is often quite sophisticated and intentional. This is no accidental detail. The, um, Miriam criticizes Moses' dark-skinned wife, and she, Miriam, is afflicted with a disease that turns her own skin white as snow. Tangent number three, God has already been cynically vengeful in this week's portion. 
The people had been complaining about the manna that was the food that we were able to eat in our wander wanderings through the wilderness. The people, they'd been complaining all day, every day, manna, barbecued manna, boiled manna, baked manna, sauteed manna, manna kebabs. You get the idea. They wanted meat. Moses, exasperated with the people's complaints, say to God, why have you done evil to your servant? Why have I not found favor in your eyes that you place the burden of this entire people on me? Did I conceive this entire people or did I give birth to it that you say to me, carry them in your bosom as a nurse carries a suckling to the land that you swore to its forefathers? Where shall I get meat to give this entire people when they weep to me saying, give us meat that we may eat? I alone cannot carry this entire nation, Moses is going on and on, for it is too heavy for me. And if this is how you deal with me, then kill me now, if I have found favor in your eyes, and let me not see my evil. Drama much, Moses? So God gives the people meat. Pigeons fall out of the sky until people choke on them. Days and days, they're like knee high on the ground. You want meat? I'll give you meat. Here, here, here. And here in the same reading, Miriam has an issue with Zipporah's dark skin, and God responds by turning Miriam's skin white as snow. This is not an accident in the text. This is not a subtle message. You like light skin? I'll give you light skin. Moses loved his wife Zipporah and she was very dark-skinned. And when Miriam goes racist, God responds. And only after Moses' prayerful plea, El na Rafana, oh God, please heal her. And, and the after, and these words are right there in the text, that I'm, I'm pulling the translation words. After she, Miriam, was quarantined outside of the camp for seven days, only after her quarantine, Miriam was restored. Torah tells us that all human beings are made in the image of God, B'Tselem Elohim. Here in Beha'alotcha, our weekly Torah reading, we see an example of racist behavior in our ancestors, and God called it out. God punished the perpetrator, and at least in the biblical text, she was healed. Would that it would be so easy. El na rafana. Oh God, please heal us. Heal our community. Heal us from the plague of racism and make us whole. May we earn the promised day when all our world will be one. When all humanity sees the image of God in each of our fellow human beings, the time for which we pray as I turn our screen back over to Alenu, where we continue. Please join along. Alenu l'shabeach l'adon ha'kod l'atet gedula liyotzeher breshit Shelo asanu ke goye haratzot, velo samanu ke mishpechota adama. Shelo sam chelkenu kahem, vego raleinu ke chol hamonam. Vanachnu korim, umishtachavim umodim. Lifne melech mache hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu. Ve'ne'emar v'haya Adonai l'melech ha'kol ha'aretz Ayom ha'hu, bayom ha'hu, iye Adonai echad U'shemo, u'shemo, u'shemo echad I'll read the list that we have for Kaddish this week, and as always, if you have additional names that you would like to um, make note of, you are welcome to type them into the chat box. Our list this week includes 
Dolores Gorman, Mark Kaufman, Anne Levine, Robert Lewis, Martin Marty Morse, Suzanne Nigam, Louis Rutten, Dorothy Shane, and we mourn the recent losses of Brian Ginsburg, brother of Betty Lee and brother-in-law of Mel Wapner, uncle of Larry, whose wife is Maria, and Terry, whose wife is Chanel. And we remember George Kaufman, father of Judith Raposo, whose husband is Mario. We remember those, we remember all those we keep in our hearts as well as those who have no one left to say Kaddish for them as we continue with the Mourner's Kaddish. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei rabah be'ama divara chirute v'yamlich malchute v'chayichon v'yomechon v'chaye d'chol b'et Yisrael v'agala v'izman kari v'imru amen yehe shemei rabah mevorach le'olam u'me amaya Yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnase v'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal shemei d'kudsha b'richu Laela min kol birchata vashirata, tush bechata venechemata, da amiran be ama vimru, amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shamaya, the chaim alenu ve al kol Yisrael vimru, amen. O se shalom bim romav, huya se shalom, alenu ve al kol Yisrael vimru, amen. Let's sing another one. I think I can answer, even without asking Isaac, who may not still be on with us, that um, this great piece of, of Birkat Kohanim, of the priestly uh, blessing, uh, which he titled Live Long and Prosper, comes from Star Trek comic books. Right? Are you with us? He says, yeah, okay. O diavo shalom aleinu. O diavo shalom aleinu. O diavo shalom aleinu. Ve al kulam. O diavo shalom aleinu. O diavo shalom aleinu. O diavo shalom aleinu. Ve al kulam. Salam, aleinu ve'akul ha'olam. Salam, 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 aleinu ve'akul ha'olam. Salam, salam. Odi avu shalom malenu, odi avu shalom malenu, odi avu shalom malenu. Odia vo shalom malenu, odia vo shalom malenu, odia vo shalom malenu ve al kulam. Salam, Yes, we can now unmute and say hi to everybody. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. And thank you, thank you to Isaac for um, helping out and offering some art hmm? and I guess we explanation. Should Shabbat shalom, everyone. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. From the Greek works. Rick. Shabbat shalom. Thank you. Shabbat shalom. Very nice, Rick. Beautiful artwork. Shabbat shalom. Right. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. Thank you. Love the artwork. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Yeah. The plug again, nicejewishartist.com. 
It's really well, easy to remember. Down. I wrote it down. Put it down. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. And you know, it, it, a few years ago, we were able to have them join us for Shabbaton, and it would be wonderful to have them come back and do some more with us when we can all gather in person. A uh, quick announcement, congregational meeting on Wednesday. Uh, the link went out today. If you didn't get it, email me. Get everybody. So that was Gianna. If you didn't get an email <laughs> invitation, which should have just gone to um, uh, members, um, members. Uh, then, um, and some of you may not because we don't have everyone's email address. So if you did not get the congregational meeting announcement, um, send Gianna a, an email and we'll make sure we get you connected. Anything else, Gianna? And my, my email is in the um, chat box right now. Oh. Awesome. And if you forget to see it, write it down there, it is on our website somewhere. And it's on the temple email oh. that you get every week. There we go. It's from oh, look awesome. Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Thank you. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Oh, how nice to see everyone. Very nice. Really is. Shabbat shalom, Tomas. <laughs> GJ, David, Margot, Shabbat shalom. Mark, Shabbat love you, Mark. Love you, Hannah. Shabbat shalom. I miss the hell out of you. <laughs> Hannah. I know you're out of you, Rabbi. Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Love you, Mark and Marsha. Hi. Love you. Hi, Thomas. Shabbat shalom. Nice. Hi. Nice. <laughs> I know all the people who were here. <laughs> Lots of people. All right, we're going to count down. Bye, Susan. Bye, Pete. Bye-bye. Last Shabbat Shalom. Bye. 10. Bye. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Bye. Love you all. Shabbat Shalom again. Just nice to see people. Thank you so much for staying with me. <laughs> <laughs> I do exist. I see my three Shabbat people. Shalom, and Nice to see everybody. All you. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And and you're keeping the um, cello uh, warmed up, right? It is warmed up. What is it warmed up for? <laughs> Well, I mean, we're the future. Full news today, but we're going to hear it no matter what, right? <laughs> yes, sir. We're going to find a way, either live or pre-recorded, whatever you want. You'll tell me what to do, and I'll do it. Yeah, you can get it out now. No, no. <laughs> it might be you have to have dinner. <laughs> need to All, right. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shabbat shalom, everyone. We're signing Shabbat off. Shalom. Bye -bye. Shabbat shalom. Bye-bye. See you no. some more study in the morning. What a nice Shabbat.